Estamos. No, no, no. We're in the vlog. We're starting the night. We're in the mafia place. Smoking weed. Outside. <laughs> Yes. They don't speak much English. They don't, because they're French. But! But! Very good. What can I convince? Stop filming, stop filming. Stop filming. It's good. Fondo! Snuna Fondo! Fondo! Salut Mario! Le baratone! Le baratone! En anglais, en anglais. Le baratone. Dis-moi en anglais, dis-moi en anglais. Le, euh, il baratone. Dis-moi en anglais, qu'est-ce qu'il passe Qu'est-ce qui se passe en anglais Qu'est-ce qu'il passe Vous expliquez ce qui se passe en anglais, les gars. Oui, mais parlez en anglais. Yes. So. Oh, oh, oh. So. It's a big okay. baratone, like say Mano. Mano. So, Mano, ok. What's happening So. Yes. We are. A lot of um, bar. Seventeen bar, which take part of the baraton. So seventeen bar is a is a baraton, but we need we need to go in a in a one bar. One bar. Who doesn't take part of the baraton? Okay, It's really hard to find one. It's really hard to find one. I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, I have a really good story to tell you. Feeling a little sentimental. The city. It's majestic, you know? It's like I'm being in the middle of a James Bond movie and I'm James Bond. And speaking of James Bond, that's what I want to talk to you all about. Movies. There's this big front of me. That's, that's art. That's... Oh, that's literally art. But like, watch that. Watch how people walk. People walking in the middle of the city center with the trains, with this beautiful statue. And McDonald's because they're not paying me, but they have a really good location. And people eating in the middle of the street. And that, right there, is the city opera. And probably a lot of people have been there. A lot of people. They had, like in a mall back home when I was a kid, they had one of those. Well, this video in a specific will be about um, movies. You may think a, mo a, a video about movies, what are you talking about? And I want to tell you a story, you know? I've been, as you all know, as you all pretty well know, I've been in France and I've ha I wouldn't say I haven't had time, but I've used my time in different ways, like going out with, uh, you know, going out with the people here, which they have received me really well and I have no complaints with it, but at the end of the day it takes away ta your, you know, your time with yourself, which is important as well. And yesterday I had the great idea of watching a movie. And it was the first time I saw a movie in a long, long time. Like all that I have been in France, it's been the first movie I've seen. I watched it alone in my computer on a, you know, alone in my computer, in my apartment, in my room. And um, I saw me and Joe Black. Great move. 
freaking great movie but this video will not be of analyzing that movie i just want to say it's freaking great but you know the importance of movies in in my life specifically they're quite important and i don't know why I, it took me so so much time to watch a movie again like they keep you dreaming they keep that fire inside of you going you know i when i saw that motherfucking white pit in 1988 with that fucking suit and with uh, that british actress that's lovely and the andrew hopkins and yeah it's, it's fake you may say and yeah it's not real it's not it's not real life it's a movie but it keeps you dreaming you know it's like i see that motherfucker and i'm like shit i want to why, why does he look like that man like i want to look like that or at least be close enough to that or do it any amount possible to um you know to dress good to look good feel good and that brilliant british actress <laughs> i forgot her name and I'm, i feel really bad for forgetting her name but damn it's special you know having a relationship even though i'm I'm only 18 and I'm alone, that's why I watch the movie alone, uh, I have a girlfriend and all of this, but just having that alone time with myself, watching that great movie, it's something that, you know, it's something I missed and I want to dedicate this, oh, not dedicate, but put a video towards the importance of watching movies, which I think it's sometimes underappreciated. Oh, as well yeah you cannot overdo it you know watching a lot of movies and or well, i think watching series in the most time or waste of time like watching an episode of one hour each day it's something that i would rather allocate my time to other things but watching um a movie not overdoing it just doing it like once a week i think it's a great way of keeping that challenge inside of you dreaming seeing that stuff that you know makes you puts a smile in your face and like movies uh movies are similar to life you know they mostly uh end up they you know they give like they let you with a, a nice taste in your mouth but sometimes they uh, well, you sh and as life, usually they you don't obtain the things the way you wanted to, and if probably they they told you from the beginning you're you're going to go through this in order to obtain that, you would probably go oh no that's that's a really weird path I don't want to go that way, but that's really you know that's a tremendous path I was not expecting that, and usually movies are like that you know they don't give you everything you want they give you, they keep you with you know they keep you wanting something wanting something and at the end you get a nice feeling that it's not exactly how you wanted it to be but it's usually a nice feeling so in life you don't usually obtain what you want exactly the way you want it like in movies but at the end you get a really good taste or you get a really nice feeling even though you probably didn't obtain exactly what you wanted or you obtained it but not in a way that was exactly the way you wanted it to be. So that's really interesting between movies and life. And every time there's one of these great, great actors, like Mr. Brad, or Mr. Pitt, um, Fred, uh, it's like, shit. Like, usually in, in each movie, there's one character, I say, damn. I need to work hard to one day be like that. Or, well, not exactly like that, because it's it's fantasy, but like some aspects of that person. And usually, the the good person has um, you know a mix between all of those assets, or if not a mix, at least some of those good things that you want to be with. And I'm saying this, being an 18 year old kid. Wearing a shirt that says Santa Monica that I bought in 2019 with my parents in my favorite scene in the world. When I when I didn't thought I would even go to LA, I was like impossible. 
Because the cool people would feel like I'm not an actor. And today I have dreams. Well, I think that in life there's nothing better than actually producing entertainment and producing a movie. Uh, would probably be my top dream in life, but uh, you know, you never know how life goes. And no dream is ever just a dream, as some crew says. And you know, just, just having this shirt that I bought in Santa Monica back in 2019 when I still had my grandma, when I was living with my parents before COVID, when I was going to basketball, when I was in a basketball club with my old friends from high school that have been my friends since I was like five, six years old. Damn, now I'm an 18 year old boy that's an adult that's living alone you know, on the continent, speaking French, which in 2019 my French level was as good as probably the Chinese level of the person that's watching this. I didn't know anything, probably at the basics, like, you know, hello, my name is this, and how are you? Or probably not even how are you. <laughs> and now I'm studying that language. <laughs> In in with my Santa Monica shirt that I bought in Santa Monica, California, with my mom back in 2019. Damn, life moves so fucking fast. And that's exactly what you should stay dreaming. You know? Keep dreaming. Dream with your eyes open. Because if not, what's life about? And and your dream cannot be a little dream. It cannot be, you know, it needs to be a dream that when you say it, you get nervous. That's the dreams I'm talking about. The dreams that when you, when they ask, hey, what do you want to do? And you say, hey, I want to do this. And when you say it, you're nervous because you know that it may actually happen. But it's so a far-fetched dream. It's such a another reality to the one you're in right now that you probably think hey in uh, no way it will happen but there's a little voice inside of you that says it may happen it may happen you never know and you, you should listen to that voice a little more well I, I would say not a little more a lot more because that little voice is the one that will take you wherever the fuck you actually want where you really want to be not keeps you in your parents basement <sighs> if you would have said to the Daniel in 2019 that he would be studying in France he wouldn't believe it I'm a hundred percent sure well probably you know what would happen he probably wouldn't be he probably would believe it but a really small percentage so like in majority he wouldn't believe it, but he would have this little voice, this little voice that says, probably it can happen. There's a possibility of that. Slow one. But if if I do the right things, it can actually happen. It is something crazy. It's something nervous. Something that puts me in a nervous place. That's the thing with a lot of things that I've done in life. A lot of goals that have seemed far fetched. Even though I'm only 18, and you probably think, oh, what the fuck you have, have you done at 18? <laughs> but, you know, I've done some things that I couldn't even thought I could do at such a young age. And having this way of thinking, it's a, it's, it's a privilege. It's, uh, you know, it makes me one of the most grateful men on earth. I, I can't be more grateful of what everything I have right now and everything I've had and everything I will have. And my hero, it's me when I was a kid when I didn't have absolutely anything. That's my hero. Because that little kid has made the guy, has made the Daniel of today. And if you would have told a little kid the things I've done until this date, he'll probably will not believe you. And if you probably tell me right now the things I will do in 10, 20, 30 years, I will probably tell you, ain't no way that's it. And ain't no way. Like, my big percentage of myself would say, 
hey, that's that probably will not happen. And that small voice inside of me that, you know, pushes the real branches and actually does the things, actually creates the dreams, actually be, make the dream a reality. That little voice is the one that will take me where I should go. And I know I should listen to that voice way more. And that's why movies are that important, because they let, they, they let me with that feeling, you know? That feeling in my mouth that I can actually do this. It's really crazy, but I can actually make it a reality. And you should watch movies as well, people. Watch them. You know, watch them. Movies are great piece of art. They're more than art. They're more than motivation. There's nothing in my life that has changed me as much as some of the greatest movies I've ever seen. It's like just being free, man. Just being, being here right now. Having my, fam my parents alive. That's little things like that. This shit like that should not take for granted because in one week the, the day of tomorrow, you never know. You never know. Everything may be taken away from you. And you, ha and you have no control over that. So just being grateful with what you have today, it's something that every person should do, no matter what.